Welcome to Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Today, we're gonna to show you around. Come on. Throughout your time here, you will be given a badge and that's how you're gonna be able to access many of the services the school has to offer. That includes getting in and out of the building, printing services, and going into certain classrooms. Typically, students have access to campus 24-7 with on-site security that can also help with any badge needs. Need a lift? Security can also provide you with a ride home. And there's Wi-Fi available throughout the building. Welcome to the lobby of our Medical Science Building. In this large space, we host many events that include our club fair, Steamtown Health Fair, and other cultural events. You can also see the flags in the lobby represent the nationality of a student that's attended. This is our auditorium where we can host many large events and guest speakers. Also on our first floor, we have Student Health Services. It offers a variety of different things to help your mental and physical well-being. We have a food pantry that if you're ever in the need of some food or just hungry on campus, you can come down and grab a snack. We also have an on-site therapist, which is a fantastic resource during the stressful time in medical school. Oh, hi. Welcome to the Sim Center, where we practice our patient encounters and clinical skills on standardized patients. In the Sim Center, we have a waiting room that is for our standardized patients, 12 different exam rooms that are set up exactly like a doctor's office, four simulation bays that represent more of a hospital or ER setting, and even seven different human simulators. This provides a safe space for us to practice before we do it on real people. These are the entrances to our gross anatomy lab where we now have the technology to do virtual and in-person dissections for your anatomical education. Here we have the lecture hall. We have live lessons here that are also recorded on Panopto so that students are able to go and view them on their own time after class. We also have the technology that allows us to live stream to other campuses, and normally we seat 150. Right now we can seat 25. Welcome to the GCSOM library. We're here currently on the second floor, and as you can see, we have lots of study space for one of the most popular areas to study. We have individualized study space with some larger areas in the back. We're 95% digital and have an on-site librarian who's here to help you with whatever your needs are. And this is the silent area. Here we have students studying and we ask that all students keep conversation to a minimum. We are now on our second floor in our wonderful cafe. So as you can see behind me, we have our brand new Avenue C grab and go. It's open 24 seven. You can just grab whatever you'd like, pay over here and then take it to your next spot. And in this direction, we have the seating area for our second floor cafe. During the busy hours, the GCSO and community comes here to dine, and then during the off hours, students come here to study. So we are now on the third floor. The third floor contains a very large classroom that can accommodate a lot of students. We're currently in one segment here. There's another one behind you and it actually expands to two more. Something else really fun is this room has a lot of technology built into it. So I'll let Terrence show you that. Here, we have a microphone. This microphone is plush and it's able to be thrown across the room. As Molly had mentioned, classrooms get bigger and you wanna be able to hear other people from the other side of the classroom. So this comes in very handy. The third floor also houses other departments on campus, such as the Center of Learning Excellence, Student Affairs, and the Bursa Office. Student Affairs is responsible for clubs, organizations, and multicultural events. And the Center of Learning Excellence helps students create personalized schedules and provides them with resources and tutoring sessions. So also throughout the school, we have something called team rooms that you can just go online to reserve. So we're gonna take you in to show you one. So this is one of the student rooms. We have some real medical students here studying. Um, so you can, like I said, you can reserve these rooms online, come in, it's set up for social distancing right now, but then you can otherwise work in groups, work on projects, or just get some private studying time in. 
Here, we have the offices of our faculty, who, with their open door policies, are available to help students with their academic needs. Also on this floor, students have the ability to participate with faculty on any research projects that are currently going on. That could be bench research, which is down over here, or just whatever project they need help with. Here, right now, currently, we have these small tables that are distanced around, and you see that there's only one seat per table. Uh, that's to allow for the six foot distance for all the students. And it has a pathway that you can go around. That way you can make sure that the traffic is in a linear and roundabout manner. And this area also tends to be more of a medium to moderate sound level. So students, um, when we're not social distancing, can work in groups on group projects together. So there is a little bit higher volume than something like the library. So these are some of the student lockers that we would have, that anybody would have access to. All you do is when you come onto campus, you would just look for a locker that doesn't have a lock, put your lock on there, and then you just email security so that they know who has what locker, and then it's yours to use for the entire year. Here, we have our IT department. At Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine, all students are issued a laptop where they can bring it to the IT department for servicing needs, and even if you are not on campus, they can still help you remotely. Looking for a place to relax after a study session or after class? Well, come up to the fourth floor lounge where you can challenge your classmates to a game of pool, run on the treadmill. We even have a foosball table and a ping pong table, but my personal favorite in this study-free zone is a TV system that you can hook your video games up to. Our building here at Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine is very environmentally friendly and currently holds the LEED Silver status. We also have a very large open space for students to study, blow off steam, and even host really fun picnics. In the back here, we also have our new manual arts building that's currently being renovated to give space for future students. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you choose Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine for your medical journey.